It's Monday, September 8th, 5.30 a.m. I am going up Missouri Mountain. The trip isn't as, as hard as it was yesterday. It's a 10 and a half miles round trip. It's 4,500 feet of elevation gain. I should be able to get up to the split before the light comes up. We'll see how that goes. It's 6.20, I uh, am up at the tree line, the sun's coming out. I got up here a little faster than I did yesterday, so I'm kind of surprised. But, looks like it's going to be a fairly clear day, so hopefully I can push up before these clouds start accumulating. It's supposed to be uh, stormy today, so I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible. All right, we've got 644. We are at the split. Now on the split, you see Mount Belfort going left, it's Elkhead Pass going right. So if you're going up Missouri Mountain, you want to take the Elkhead Pass. About 7.20, I am still climbing. Uh, just about ready to start my, my next ascent up to the ridge line here. You can see then when we go up this hill, kind of zigzags with the switchback, goes up, and then I'm gonna follow it all the way up to the top of the ridge line, and I follow that ridge line all the way to Missouri.
20 after eight and I have made the ridge line. It's 8.50 at the top of Missouri Mountain. I'm at 14,067 feet. Whew. It is beautiful up here. You can see behind me, a complete shot of the Missouri Valley back here. I mean, just 360 view of 14ers everywhere. Belford, right over there. Oxford, on the other side of it. I was there yesterday. There's no wind. Can't ask for a better day. This ridge line back here that I just climbed, amazing, amazing coming through. Makes the whole hike worth it.